Okay, so we got this radical expression, uh, root 8, or root of negative 8, sorry, plus root of negative 18, subtract the root of negative 2. What's the very first thing that I'm going to do? Yeah, take the i out. So if I take the i out, this turns into root 8 times i plus root 18 times i subtract root 2 times i. Now what? Can I add those things together? No, I can't. Why not? That's right. They're not in their simplest form. In fact, the radicands aren't the same, right? I've got an 8, an 18, and a 2. Those aren't the same, so what do I do? Simplify them. So how do you simplify root 8 to root 2? Now, if you don't remember why it's 2 root 2, think about, I guess I'll just do it off to the side here, 8 can be factored down to 4 and 2, which can be factored down to 2, 2, and 2. So when you take the square root, I'm looking for a group of 2, so I pull out those 2's, I'm left with that other 2, so it turns into 2 root 2, right? So 2 root 2i, what's the uh, root 18 going to turn into? 3 root 2 times i, and finally subtract root 2i. Now can I add those things together? Absolutely. What's my common uh, term here? Root 2i, yeah. So I add these things together, and what do I end up with? Good. 4 root 2 times i. Right, you just take the coefficients. 2 plus 3 is 5 minus, you assume that there's a 1 there. So 5 minus 1 gives me that 4. Now, how about this next one? If I've got uh, the square root of negative 4 multiplied by the square root of negative 9, you might be tempted to just multiply right off the bat, but you can't. What's the thing you have to do always at the start? No, as soon as you look at this, the first thing I want to do Good. Pull out the i. Always pull out the i. If there's a negative, do that first. So here I'm going to go root 4 times i multiplied by root 9 times i. And that turns into what? Good. 2i multiplied by 3i. If you multiply those together, what do you get? Good. 6i squared. Now think about i squared for a second. What is i again? Do you remember? i equals what? the square root of negative 1. Now, if I want i squared, what do I do? I'm, I square both sides, right? When you square both sides, this is i squared. On the other side, what's the square of root of negative 1? Is it 1 or negative 1? Negative 1. Right? Because any time that you square a root, you just essentially get rid of the root. And the reason, again, if you forget, is that this thing is the same as saying negative 1 to the power of 1 half, right? And then if you take all of that to the power of 2, then the 2s just reduce here, and you're left with negative 1 to the power of 1 is just negative 1. So that's why i squared is negative 1. You really want to know that. That's really handy. Now, if I have 6 times i squared, we know what i squared is. What is it? Negative 1, so I'll just keep going here. That's 6 times negative 1, which gives me negative 6.